students, welcome to an English language lesson. This lesson is for Form 2. In this lesson, we are using textbook, which is Pass 2. The theme is People and Culture. We are doing Unit 7. The topic is Journeys. Let's look at the contents for this lesson. We have the Learning Standards, Introduction, Reading, Listening, Grammar, Vocabulary, Writing, Cultural Awareness, and Integrated Skills. First, before we start, let's look at the Learning Standards. We have main skills, speaking 2.1.2, ask for and respond appropriately to simple suggestions, speaking 2.3.1, keep interaction going in longer exchanges by checking understanding of what the speaker is saying, reading 3.1.2, understand specific details and information in simple longer text on a range of familiar topics, and then we have listening 1.1.2, understand independently specific information and details in simple longer text on a range of familiar topics. Then we are writing 4.1.2, make and respond to simple requests and suggestions. And the last one is writing 4.1.4, express opinions and common feelings such as happiness, sadness, surprise and interest. Now for the complementary skills. We have speaking 2.1.1, ask about and explain key information from simple text. Listening 1.1.1, understand independently the main ideas in simple longer text on a range of familiar topics. Then we have listening 1.2.1, guess the meaning of unfamiliar words from clues provided by other words and by context on a range of familiar topics. And last three, reading 3.1.1, understand the main points in simple longer text on a range of familiar topics. Dear yes, students, let's begin our lesson. Longest Driven Journey So here is a Guinness World Records. Longest Driven Journey This is a Guinness World Record. As of 4th April 2017, the longest driven journey is 741,065 kilometers or 460,476 miles and was achieved by Emil and Liana Smith from Switzerland. They travel across 165 countries in the same Toyota Land Cruiser in a journey that started on 18 October 1984 and is still ongoing. The Smith arranged for the third Regeneration of the Land Cruiser in East Malaysia in March 2017. The next destination will be Indonesia, where they will visit new corners and new islands. They still have not decided what's afterward. Now let's look at the longest continuous cycle path. The longest continuous cycling path is 32 0.869 kilometers or 20.4 miles and was achieved by Public Works Authority Ashgal from Qatar in Doha. So this happened on 11 February 2020. The park is 7 meters wide, features 21 tu 29 tunnels and 5 bridges and is designed to allow speeds up to 50 km per hour. So this is the longest continuous cycle path. Now let's look at the longest journey by bicycle in a single country. So this is by a team. The longest journey by bicycle in a single country is 19,483 kilometer or 12,055 miles and was achieved by MJ Pawan and Bajia Sri Shavant. Both are from India. They rode throughout India from 2nd October 2017 to 3rd April 2018. This was the second successful attempt for this record to be completed in 2018. Now, dear students, what type of record would you like to create? Let's continue with our speaking lesson. 
Here you are going to listen and repeat the different forms of transport. Which do you use the most? Unit 7. Vocabulary and Speech. Now let's look at seven cool ways to get around. Read and listen. Then complete the sentences with words from exercise 1. Unit 7 Now students, let's go to the answers. The Amish people don't use cars. They prefer to travel the old-fashioned way by. Answer is horse and carriage. Lisbon is famous for its green form of public transport, the tram. The best way to see the Great Islands is by yacht. You get a great view of the Sahara Desert in a hot air balloon. These Irish travellers live in a caravan and take it with them wherever they go. In London, the quickest way to get around is on the underground, which is also called the tube. Chinese people like travelling by bicycle because it's cheap and healthy. Now let's look at exercise 3. Answer the questions. Which form of transport? carries large heavy things from one place to another. So the answer is a lorry. Which form of transport? Transports people by air in an emergency. So the answer is helicopter. Which form of transport? Is a fast, noisy vehicle for one or two people? The answer is a motorbike. Which form of transport? Carries people and cars on short journeys across the sea? The answer is ferry. Which form of transport takes large groups of passengers on long journeys by road? So the answer is a coach. So let's look at, look, I love traveling by ship. So here you learn to use the word by. My mom goes to work by bus. Dear okay, students, now express yourself. Which form of transport do you use in these situations? Write sentences. For example, number one, go to school. So you can write, I go to school by bicycle. Number two, go shopping. So you can write, I go shopping by bus. Go to the beach. I go to the beach by car. Visit your friends. I visit my friends by bus. Go on holiday. I go on holiday by airplane.
Tell students you can work in pairs. Ask and answer questions about the different forms of transport you use. For example, here is a conversation. How do you go to school? I go to school by bicycle. Dear students, let's continue with reading. First of all, for reading, you have to read a feature article. Who do you think the people in the picture are? Read and listen to check your ideas. So here you will listen to Journey into the Modern World. Answer, who are the people in the picture? They are Amish teenagers. Unit 7 Now let's look at the word check. You have old-fashioned, gadget, household chore, hunting, bow and arrow, curious, get on. Do you know? Lots of Amish teenagers use roller blades to get around. Here copy and complete the notes about Andrew. Name, Andrew Miller. Age 18, comes from Mississippi. Family, father, Two brothers and sisters. Hobbies. Hunting with his bow and arrow and ice fishing. 
reason for visiting Britain. To find out what life in Britain is really like. Now let's continue with another exercise. Read the text again. Are the sentences true or false? Correct the four sentences. Number one, Amish children help their parents at home. So the answer is true. Amish people don't use any transport. It is false because Amish people usually travel around by horse and carriage and lots of Amish teenagers use roller blades. Next, Andrew like watching TV is false. Andrew has never had a TV in his home. Andrew has been to Britain before. Answer is false. Andrew has never been to Britain before. Andrew is going to stay with the British family. Answer is true. Dear students, how is Andrew driven from most teenagers? Write five differences. Number one, for example, he doesn't listen to rock music. So, possible answers. He has never used a computer. Number two, he has never had a TV in his home. Number three, he has never owned a mobile phone. Number four, he doesn't wear fashionable clothes. And number five, he has never been to school. Finished? So do you think Andrew will enjoy his trip to Britain? Why or why not? So you can answer, I think he will enjoy his trip to Britain because... Now let's look at the web quest. Find out more information about the Amish. Make notes about the history of Amish people, the population. Then you can find also interesting facts and their homes. So then, work in pairs. Share your information with the rest of the class. Let's look at the web quest tip. When you find a website with interesting information, add it to your favorites. Dear students, let's continue with grammar lesson. For grammar, today you're going to learn present, perfect, affirmative and negative. Use of the present, perfect. We use the present perfect to talk about things in the past when we don't say exactly when they happened. Affirmative, I've read about England in books. He or she or it had lesson at home. You, we, they have lived all their life in the USA. So present perfect here you have have read. has, had, and also have lived. Let's look at the negative. I haven't visited a big city. He or she, it hasn't used a computer. You, we, they haven't traveled by plane. So here the negative for present perfect. Haven't visited, hasn't used, haven't traveled. So now look at the table and answer the questions. What are apostrophe VE and apostrophe S short form? So the answer is have and has. What do we add to the end of regular verbs in the present perfect? So the answer is for regular verbs you add ED. Now read the spelling rules on page 83 and look at the irregular verbs list on page 126. Then write the past participles of these verbs. So here you have go, make, see, do, laugh, come, give, want and think. So the past participles of these verbs are go is gone, make is made, see is seen, do is done, laugh is laughed. Come is come, give is given, one is wanted, and thing is taught. Now read the sentences about Andrew Miller and choose the correct words. His parents has or have allowed him to go to Britain. So the answer is his parents have allowed him to go to Britain. He have or he has tried English food. Answer is he has. 
He hasn't seen or saw a football match. So the answer is seen. Number four, he isn't or hasn't caught his parents in the USA. The answer is hasn't. His family are sad because they have or there is miss him. So they have miss him. Look, Andrew has gone to Britain. He's still there. Andrew has been to Britain. He went there in the past, but he isn't there now. So make sure you know the meaning of gone and been. Now let's complete the sentences with gone or been. Fiona isn't here. She has gone for a walk. I haven't been to Paris, but I would love to go. We have been in a hot air balloon. It was great. Scott hasn't gone to school yet. He's still here. Now, you're going to listen to Living with the Amish. Complete the paragraph with the present perfect form of the verbs in brackets. Then listen and check. Unit 7 Let's look at the answers. So number one is has chosen. Number two is has lived. Number three is hasn't been. Number four has just arrived. Number five have come. Number six has left. And the last one seven hasn't bought brought. Now next exercise is exercise six. What have you done in your life so far? What haven't you done? Write sentences. Here are two examples. I've watched an English film. I haven't been abroad. So you can write your answers here. Let's look at analyze. We don't use the present perfect with past time expressions like yesterday and last year. What about in your language? So students, let's look at the sentences that you can write. For number two, eat Chinese food. You can write, I've eaten Chinese food. Number three, travel by plane. So you can write, I've traveled by plane. Number four, meet a famous person. You can write, I haven't met a famous person. And the last one, ride a motorbike. You can write, I've ridden a motorbike. Okay, students, now let's look at present perfect to questions and short answers. For question, you have to put have for I, we, you, or they. Then, what is number one along route 66? Number two, what is the answer? He, she, it, been in a song. And then we have short answers. Yes, I have, no, I. So, what is the answer here for number three? Yes, it has. No, it hasn't. So now copy and complete the table with driven, has and haven't. So let's look at the answer for number one. Have I, we, you, they driven along route 66? Number two, has he, she or it been in a song? And the last one, yes, I have. No, I haven't.
Dear students, now for exercise 2, order the words to make questions about root 66, then write true short answers. Root 66, famous, become has. So here you have to reorder. So has root 66 become famous? Yes, it has. Let's look at number 1. Hotels all close, the have O. So the center is, have all the O hostels closed? No, they haven't. Number two, in has been flum it a. So the question, has it been in a flum? Answer, yes, it has. About sung it, people have. So the question, have people sung about it? Yes, they have. Longer roads have they built? So question, have they built longer roads? The answer is, yes, they have. The last sentence for the question is, walked anyone has Route 66 along. So you have to order the words. Answer is, has anyone walked along Route 66? Answer is, yes, they have. Let's look at look. We often use ever in present perfect questions to mean at some time in your life. The negative of ever is never. Have you ever driven a car? Yes, I have. No, I've never driven a car. So now write questions using the present perfect and ever. Example, travel across America. Have you ever traveled across America? So number one, see the film cars. Have you ever seen the film cars? Number two, ride a motorbike. Have you ever ridden a motorbike? Number three, stay in a hotel. So have you ever stayed? in a hotel number four eat fast food so the center is the question is have you ever eaten fast food and the last one climb a mountain have you ever climbed a mountain now let's look at grammar in context the passage is a journey through the history of Transport by James Preston, age 13. Complete the project with the present perfect form of the verbs in brackets. Now listen and check your answers. Let's look at the question. What was the most popular form of transport 100 years ago? What is the most popular form of transport now? So you can answer these two questions by doing some research. Unit now 7. And check Grammar in context. Transport. Let's look at the question. Exercise what 6. What was the most popular form of transport A journey years through ago? the history what of transport. The most popular form of transport by James now? Preston. So you can answer these age 13. two questions by doing some Have research. you ever thought about the transport you use every day? Have people used cars, bikes and trains for hundreds of years, or are they a modern invention? Read my project to find out. It's 1783. The Montgolfier brothers have flown for the first time, in a hot air balloon. It's 1814. George Stevenson's invention is going to change the world. Has he invented the car, the bus, or the train? It's 1863. London has become the first city in the world with an underground railway. At the moment, there is only one line. The other lines haven't started running yet. It's 1870. Lots of people are riding bicycles like this. Cycling has never been so difficult. It's 1903. The Wright brothers have designed the first plane with an engine. It's 1908. Henry Ford has opened the first car factory. Now people can own a car. It's 1976. For the first time, Passengers have travelled by Concorde, a new kind of plane.
It's faster than the speed of sound. It's 1995. The UK and France have finished building the Channel Tunnel. There is now a railway line between the two countries, which goes under the sea. Finally, in case you're wondering, George Stevenson invented the train. Okay, students, let's go to the answers. Number one is, have you ever taught? Number two, have people used? Number three, have flown? Number four, has he invented? Number five, has become? Number six, haven't started? Number seven, has never been? Number eight, have designed? Number nine, has opened? Number ten, have travelled? And the last one, have finished? And do remember to subscribe to my channel. It is called Educator Omni Tip. See you in another English language lesson. Bye for now.